Um, let's see. So, I think we're gonna get, we get like plus 12 whenever we send a character up. Um, how high of a hero value can we get Jolanda? Right now. So, I think I'm gonna send up Jolanda and then one of the characters. That first character. Cute. <laughs> Snobbish. Loves dad. Shallow, foolhardy, stout, naive, and optimistic. <laughs> Alright, so... I think this one will give us the most value first. Eight's the max, and then we can make her optimism go up. Actually, so we spend one to increase by three, two to increase. I think this one's actually our next most efficient. You can only do it a couple times, that's why, alright. Give you optimistic. Um, I think we pretty much already have her able to be sent up. We can. So the thing is, one thing to keep in mind though. Um, even though you lose a character and all the things equipped to them. They can die while up there at Asgard, so we actually do want to make sure they have, um... Items. Let's see if we can divine some items that may give her better stats. Um... What is she missing equipment-wise? We need an arm. So let's give her Gauntlet. Ah, she can't equip a Gauntlet. I see. Um, we want to remove this. Remove. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I could give him? So, like, some of these items do things? I don't remember off the top of my head. We have a bunch of materialization points, so let's just, let's just do that. We'll give her one of each. There's no reason not to. We don't need to nickel and dime our, uh, our points because I'm not going to be going very item heavy. I am going to save before I send her up. Uh, or at least she's ready to be sent up. Let me get the other person. And once we have our other characters and I sent up two, we will go ahead and do the other dungeons for experience and just other stuff. So, let's see. One of these buttons gives me a bigger world map. Is it this button? Nope. Damn it, Drecky. <sighs> Thankfully, there's only like four more points of interest. There we go. We need to go to... We have Krell Montefuge. Montefuge. 
And we have, um, not Vilnor. There, Trail of Let us go get one of our other characters. Well, someone died. Obviously, I'm a Valkyrie, but I come for the people who died. Hello, Maiden. Please light our way so that we may walk the path of courage. But, Spirit, it shall never be despoiled. Mila, are you waiting long? It's okay. I love this place. I love to just stand here and listen to the rustling leaves. When the wind blows just right, it sounds just like waves lapping on a shore. never noticed it before. Now, I know what they mean by a sea of trees. Yes, that's why I wanted you to come here. But why? You're going to sea, aren't you? As a soldier, to war. So you knew. Yes, that's why my mother told me to forget you. Maybe you should listen to her, Mila. Don't say that. I'm gonna wait for you. When I come here, I feel like I'm closer to you. You're not just that. It's more than that. I feel like you're really here. You're together with me. Mila? I, I promise I won't die. Wait for me. Um, boy. I sure hope he doesn't die. <laughs> I will. When I come back, we'll get married. Legends say that the lotus flower grants eternal life. When you give a lotus flower, it means you are praying for their eternal life. How horrible. They say it was a war that we could not lose. Sounds like things didn't go so well. Lelwyn, I have to talk to you. My mother wants to arrange a marriage for me. I told her no, of course. All she cares about is her own social status anyway. She's just wasting her time. I'll never marry anyone else. No! This noise, it's all wrong! Stop! 
Somebody stop it! Empty coffin. I can't believe you're really dead. Are you certain about this? Absolutely. What could I possibly say? There are no words. If you believe that we cannot do anything for you humans, then you are mistaken. We are gods, mortal! Uh -huh. We can do what we want! The death of a loved one. For they that remain, the wounds grow deeper and deeper. They that remain grow weaker and weaker, an agony incomparable, their hearts in bondage. Hey. Hey, you? Can you not see it? She has ceased to live, frozen in time. Well, that is a bit poetic. It is the same as if you had slain her with one of your arrows. So what should I... No need to pretend, simply do what you can. Don't think, just do. Ooh, spooky ghost! I'm here to haunt you, Emily, or Mila. Lelwyn. Forgive me. I'll always be watching over you. <sighs> this is not my task. I am no goddess of love. Lennox <laughs> <laughs> is, is just like, look, I'm here to murder people and get and get souls, alright? I'm not the person to ask for relationship advice. <laughs> Damn, Lenneth over here just spraying a bunch of graffiti. So, Lowen is an interesting um, archer. Um, I'm actually going to send him up as my second character. Um, mostly because, honestly, I use him... I would be using him a lot... Otherwise, and I want to just—I want to use more characters. Um, so let's level him up once. Um, he's also a character that, like Jolanda, we can only send him up in the first couple chapters because he just has a very low max um, hero value. So let's see. Uh, what was it? Not party. Ability? No. Skill. Duh. You gotta go to traits. Um, fucking math. Alright, so... Two points to go up by seven. So this one's gonna be really efficient. Uh, what is our next most efficient? Uh, six points to go up by seven. Six points to go up by eight. Two points to go up by four. So that's a two to one ratio. I think these are next most efficient. And then... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to level him up one more time. So let's go ahead and use the experience orb. I do not have enough. No two. Damn it, I was hoping we could send them up before going through one of the dungeons. I see. Because I want to max out my evaluation 
and then tank it as much as I can. Because I wanna I wanna get it low. I need to get it low. And I don't want to waste too much um Stuff. That's why, like, the order I do things kind of matters. Um... Oh, he doesn't even have a... How do you not have a helmet or a weapon, dude? Come on. Let's get this... Let's get this kid a bow. We want this one. We get two because we're about to get another archer. Um, and we will get a couple helmets because we're going to get another character. All right. Um, let's save. Whoops. Let's go check out the Cave of Oblivion. So, the Cave of Oblivion is a bit of a unique dungeon. Um, it will appear every cycle, and you can do it once. And it's very random. It can have a lot of enemies, it can have a lot of items. Um, it's just kind of a grab bag. You always want to save before going into the Cave of Oblivion, because there can be some very end-game enemies. Fucking I might be fucked. To my side, mm. my noble, I'm here. All right. Oh. He may be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Kind of like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think we can't do Cave of Oblivion. Yeah, we just need to uh, game over and reload. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's just reload and pretend that didn't happen. So let's go get the other character, the other archer, who I will be keeping in the party. And then we will go do the dungeons. We need to go to Lasan. Lasan. It's a beautiful flower. You know what it's called? A soccer. Do you really... Do you want that badly to not go? Not to go? Lord Belenus, give it back. I do not like slave auctions. Don't make me watch. We have to do this, Asaka. My wife and Maria are gone now. You cannot take care of the mansion by yourself. Maybe you don't have a mansion, dude? Maybe get a smaller house? Maybe, like, you know, do some work yourself? The one you buy will be well treated. When I think of the fates of others, I do not wish to go. But I need you to go, Asaka. Do not speak their language. I need your help to pick a good worker. 
cannot do it. You have that kind of power over someone's life. But it is well enough to pick a flower. Ah. How is choosing a servant any different from picking a flower? Um, well, one of them is a living conscious being. The other thing is just a plant, my dude. Being picked was this flower's destiny. Destiny? Destiny is the path chosen for us by the gods. Please, please forgive me. I just felt so sorry for her. I will pay her upkeep with my own salary, so please let her stay. Father, please, I promise you, Maria and I will take good care of her. Very well, she is your responsibility, Maria. Educate her. Are you sure that was a good idea, Maria? I'm sorry, young lord. It's okay. Do you know what her name is? Her name is Asaka. Asaka? That's a Yamato name. Yes. Ah. Finally, we get to see your face. That scary man is gone, so don't cry anymore. Ah, the old young, young master and the servant. Oh, hey, it's the, uh, men in black. Being picked was this flower's destiny. Destiny? Was it destiny that killed my wife and Maria? Was it destiny that sent my friends and my father to die in a distant war? Yeah. A lot of a lot of people are gonna be dying in war Is it here. The reason I am here now. He's talking about destiny, but he sure doesn't really seem to be believing the in it. I met Asaka. Lord Belenis? I'm fine. Well, we should head home. Yes, Lord Belenis. Spooky skull! A specter! I am the ghost of Christmas future! <laughs> what manner of being are you? No, it can't be! Your home it has fallen under a vampire's curse. The young lady is in danger. Asaka? That <laughs> just fucking fades away. Deuces. She is yours, Lady Beliza. This is the final sacrifice. Our agreement is now complete. Asaka! Asaka! Please, can't you save her? It is already too late. No one can defy their destiny. You speak of destiny? As if such talk could possibly ease my mind! I 
loved her. There is still a way. I'll do anything. Tell me. The ritual of soul transfer. It means, if you truly desire it, you may take her place, but you would have to die in her stead. I was a slave to circumstance. There was nothing I could say. Do a little bit of a uh, soul swapping. I'll, of course, now she's going to be the sad one. And I'm I'm not so sure about the laws of this country, Let us but go. if they allow um, slavery, I I don't feel like a maid will inherit their uh, household. So I don't think things are going to be so great for her either. The master's dresser. This... This is nothing to me. Force is a Belize. Human blood is the catalyst of their simple but ruinous powers. Lust, passion, and jealousy are all the demands of the Dark Lady. Huh, I wonder why we're getting some special text about this person, Beliza. I'm sure it's just some flavor, you know. Uh, don't need to dwell on it. Alright, we have our two characters. Game? Game? My controller come unplugged? Okay. All right, so let's save. Really sorry about that. Uh, swapped out my uh, controller cable. Um, hopefully that doesn't give issues. Um, so now we have two characters. Uh, we're definitely setting up Jolanda. Um, question is, is, are we setting up Lelwyn? Or do we want to send up... Uh... Polenis? Not ability. I'm gonna go to skill. Traits. So Belenis we can get up fairly easily. Lelwyn will need at least one more level to get him up to it. I think we can send him up this chapter or next chapter. But I think that's about the limit for him. Um, so I'm on the fence um, about whether we should send up Lelwyn or Belenis. Uh, you know, Belenis was a lord, uh, presumably owned uh, slaves. Lelwyn is a kid, is a child soldier. Like, I think he's about the same age as Jolanda. So I was thinking of sending him up at the same time as Jolanda, you know, just send the kids up to Asgard early. But I don't know. Um, maybe I can make, like, a... because we're going to have to run some dungeons to get them levels no matter who we send up. So let me see if I can run a poll if anyone cares. I don't think I've ever run a poll. Right. New poll. Soldier and the 
Lennis is the board. go for a long while because it's going to take me a minute to get through the dungeons. Alright. Well, that runs if anyone cares to weigh in. I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't have any strong preferences. There's advantages depending on who I send up or not. Um, I'd say Lelwyn, I'm... He's usually the character that's held on to. Um... I don't usually use the Lennis. There's other archers I like better. Lelwyn actually has something special about him, which is why he's usually used by people. Um, let me make sure everyone has equipment. All right, good to go. The door is closed tight. Oh. Let's try this again. Game. Killing me here, game. There we go. Uh, actually, was there something above? Nope. I'm crazy. Um, what's down here? Ooh, I saw something over there. Ooh, attack power. We want to use that. Speaking of early game spikes. Hell yeah. Also, is this a... Ah. It, uh, strong against things that are weak against lightning. So, while stats don't matter too much, um, enough stats do add up. And attack power adds 30 strength, which is quite a bit. So, we want to get that maxed out for our characters that we will be using in combat. Namely, Arngrim and... Uh, Um, Lenneth. So that's going to be like the first thing we're going to be doing with their levels. We're going to max that attack power and then probably first aid. Just because, you know, it's nice to get some health. Free health is pretty nice. Alright. Dragon. To my side, my noble I'm Harriard. No mercy. No mercy. Uh, that one's already dead. Good shit, good shit. Ow. Ow. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm probably gonna get it down to one, and then we will, uh, heal. Just to save on potions, because I'm finicky like that. Or actually... Let's go ahead and heal now, because if I don't, then Jolando won't be able to, uh, heal. heal after attacking. Honestly, I should have gotten that other sword, because it gives Valkyrie's, um, knock-up attack. I really need that. Because right now, I can only get XP crystals by comboing off of Jolanda's um, attack. Damn, dude. Come on! You're killing me here! I mean, not literally. Like, I'm, I'm skunking you pretty bad, but this is ridiculous!
Yeah, 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 well done. Alright, so that was that door that we couldn't go through earlier. No problem. To my side, my noble Ein Oh no, we're totally outmatched. Well, when it's four versus three, I don't think we're outmatched at all. Hmm. I didn't juggle that right. Damn it, Arngrim! You're so slow! Why did level one not attack? Come on, dude. <laughs> Take this! That's a combo. Alright, but we need fucking, uh... Oh, everyone gets a level except for Lelwyn. Okay, dude. Alright. That's fine. To my side, my noble Ein Um, we want to kill Dragon Servant first. Hmm. I thought that I would juggle him, but maybe he didn't get very airborne. Hmm. Not doing so great on maximizing the XP. Come on! He was in the air! Killing me, Smalls! You're killing me! I've got to try harder, or yeah, Lelwyn's a little, little pathetic. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Okay, I didn't need the crystal. I could have just gone over here. Short bow, nice. Free bow. Ah. Okay. We got this. Actually, let's see where this goes first. Clear that out, and then we need to get these slabs. Yeah. Ha. Airborne combat! Who drops on who Jewish now? Side, Dragon Sevens! Oh no, we're totally outmatched! Yeah. There we go, now we're getting some crystals. Dragon Slayer against these Dragon Serpents. More like Pathetic Serpents, am I right? Yeah. Well, fuck. Didn't get the timing right. Ah, killing me! Wow, everyone's so tough. Wow. Yeah, Lolwyn. They're uh. You're fighting on the side of Valkyrie, all right, dude? She's, uh, kind of a big deal in the world of death, you know, kind of taking souls to Asgard. You should be pretty honored, Lelwyn. You know, uh, for a dude carrying a giant hunk and piece of iron, Arnvrim is quite agile. They were no 
fish for us. 420, nice. Good bit of puzzle solving. That was a platform. Let's see. Always gotta check all the walls, just in case. You never know when they hide secrets. You can surprise me, did ya? Nah, no one surprises the Valkyrie. Not even you ghastly apparitions. Well, fuck. Make sure he dies. Um, and let's get the other lesser vampire. Hmm. That was not useful. Well, shit. Guess it would have been too easy if, uh... No, Lailwyn, you were not of much help. Actually, shit, if we're gonna be sending, um... Jolanda up... I mean, she is a source of healing. But... Melenis does need experience. So let's go ahead and have the double archers for a second. Wait, Melenis is a sword user? Mixing Belenis up with now? Right. I don't get him until later. Well, now I just feel very stupid. Alright, let's swap the party around because a swordsman cannot attack while in the back. Um, I guess we give him Grimrus because he needs a sword. Actually, Grimrus has the third attack. Let's actually give it to Valkyrie. And then we can give... Because Valkyrie can actually use bows as well. Hey, Miss Nil, welcome on by! Valkyrie is the only character that can be frontline or backline because she's the, you know, the main character that we're playing. So she gets she gets special bennies, and her bow attacks are actually very good. I think maybe we try out. No, we we need we need the jeweled blade. We need the knock up, and then we'll have Belenis with the normal antler sword. Right. This way we can be a little bit more efficient with our experience. Oh, your weekend's going pretty well. To my side, my noble Einherjar. It feels a bit weird to be streaming on a weekend for me. 
There we go. I need to get the timing right, but now we got a good way of knocking up. Alright, we just need to get everything to align right so I can get the uh, crystals knocked out of them. Okay, dude. Have been released. I need to get the others no to remain here. a little bit closer in the timing. Avoid. Alright. That's not bad. Um, our next little puzzle. Push this over here. Earn a chunk of event experience. Alright, nothing up there. What we got over here? Nothing like story. I believe there is one more. Yes. Always, always matches of three. Come on, Dragon Servant. Get over here. are formidable adversaries. God crush! Get schwapped! I wonder if maybe I need to do open with Valkyrie well, and then go Glenis, Arngrim, Lelwyn. Maybe that will be more reliable. I think I'm overestimating uh, Lelwyn's wind-up. Fight me, monsters! To my side, my noble Einherjar. No quarter. <laughs> Well, that was terrible. We didn't even guard crush. We're having really good uh, dodge RNG, so, you know, I got that going for me. <laughs> Come on. It is just not working out. Come on, Lennis. All right, we got a magic crystal. I suppose we better be happy with that much. They were no match for us. There's an explosion. Fire Lance. Eh, who cares? And another slab. Alright. Fight another dragon servant. All you're doing is feeding me experience, no you fool. <laughs> delicious, delicious experience. Ow. Rude. God crush! Burr. 
<laughs> Come on, dude. Alright, we are taking a bit of a beating. Might need to swap in Jolanda just to get a round of heals. In. Oof. It also seems like we don't have enough hits to get a limit break off, which is kind of a problem. We might need to swap out one of Lelwyn or Belenis for the boss battle. It's probably the smart thing to do because you kind of want to have a caster. You have paid the price for your evil. Yeah, let's put in uh, Jolanda just so we can get some heals for the front line. Opening doors. Fifth, five thousand event XP. Hell yeah! He's solving all of those events. All right, we got a broadsword and an eye of heaven. Um, what is the broadsword? Chance of breaking. Don't care about that. Treasure search. What was the Eye of Heaven, though? I think it's basically just experience. Oh, it's basically a map button. I see. Increases CP by 20. Oh, that's for, like, the exhaustion. Okay. Whoa! Alright. Wasn't expecting uh, dragons right there. Alright, how many? Is it gonna be four? Three. Four. Alright, so... We blow one up, then heal. Um... Yeah, let's blow one up and then we'll heal. It's gonna be like, can't do anything because she's exhausted. Guard crush! Ah, oh, he's fainted. Perfect. Um, so let's have Jolanda heal. Good shit, good shit. Guard crush! Good stuff, good stuff. Nice. Well, at least we can guard break. Until we get more attacks on our weapons, it's gonna be a little hard for us to juggle. Fucking finally, Belenis levels up. Um. Right. 
right, the Viking Sword. Ooh. Use charge turn by one. Actually, we kind of want a fairy earring to give Jolanda. We need to convert some things to MP. Um, what's the Eye of Heaven? We don't need that. Malice search. Interesting. So I think... I think we want to transmute this Actually, we, we're still a little, we're a little strapped for um, skill points still, so not yet, but Guts is probably better than Avoid, like Avoid gives us um, a chance to dodge enemy attacks, while Guts basically makes it where if uh, a character would die, they have a chance of instead surviving at one health, which can be extremely clutch. Very useful ability to always have on. Alright, so we want to give her that fairy earring. I just need to remember to take the fairy earring off before we send her up. Go ahead and save. Um, and switch the party. Put Lala one back in. Um, give Belenis. Let's make sure he has enough hero value. Uh, one to one, one to one, one to one, one to one, one to one. one, to one. Right, he has just a bunch of one to one values, uh, except for altruistic. Then I like how Romantic is giving him like negative hero values. That's kind of weird. Guess Asgard has nothing to uh, no use for anyone who's a Romantic. That's kind of weird. All right, I think 39 is enough. Let's give him attack power. Oh, I should have gotten counter. I forgot that exists. Valkyrie, let's give you counter and some more attack power. Arngrim, you can have counter and attack power. Let's save again. I won't have to do all those all over again if we die to the boss. Yeah! Yeah! To my side, my noble Einherjar. These are formidable adversaries. <laughs> formidable adversaries. More like dead adversaries. That was too easy. What's next? It's too easy! Ha! Apparently what's next is more dragon servants. <laughs> to my side, my noble Einherjar. These are formidable adversaries. Paid the price for your evil. Good XP, good XP. A 
Elemental Scepter. Alright, alright. Good shit, good shit. What is this little Magus looking schmuck? Villain, you dare to stir the sleep of the dead? I was a drow shaman. <laughs> How amusing! It seems our behavior displeases you. Perhaps you should leave your job as goddess and become a grave tender. Silence, worm! Hey, that's mean! I don't want to be quiet. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. Oh no, we're totally outmatched. Ramp Rampithicus. Interesting. Oh shit. Oh shit. These beasts have great endurance. Mm. I mean, yeah, I could attack with bows to the shaman, but what about my combos? Alright, we're probably going to need to reload. Yikes! Alright, we are going to get pretty fucked. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna need to reload, which is unfortunate because, uh, I'll need to go re-grab some of that stuff. Wiped out. So I think we need to, like, one-turn the monkey. Which I think we can. We can just uh, hit Jolanda in there and really get them ready. I don't want to farm other areas for experience. Okay, let's get rid of the dragon servants real quick. Again. And then we will swap Jolanda in. Because they could use the experience. Ha, did you think you could defeat me? I'd also rather prefer to hold on to as much uh, event XP as I can. To my side, my noble <laughs> Probably gonna get Jelana that element scepter just so she can do great magic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jolanda in. Put her in the back. We need to set Valkyrie and um, Arngrim up with counter and increased attack power. They leveled up. Lowland. Uh, we'll just give him attack power. Of 
Wait, no. No, I needed those points. Oops. Third time's the charm. Uh. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. No mercy. My mistake. As one downside, having to balance, like, combat ability and uh, things that increase hero value. At least in the early game, um, it's pretty hard. Eventually, like, by chapter 3 or 4, we'll really hit our stride and won't be stressing about nuance as much. We're totally outmatched! So tough. All right. Like that. Skills. Belenis. Did not level up. Arngrim. Did. Jalanda is already good enough to send up. So let's give her first aid. Gives her a chance to heal allies. Because I can, and then we'll just... I guess increase her cute stat, because we can. And, uh, loves dad? I don't know. Why not? Doesn't hurt. Uh, and we will give her... One of our elemental scepters. Good. Um, I think Lelwyn actually, no. Nah, but Lennis does more damage, it looks like. We'll go ahead and save. Bada bing, bada bang. All right, let's try this again. Yada yada, jaw salmon, yada yada, yada yada. Come to me, dark warriors. All right, now let's try and fuck them up. These are formidable adversaries. Oh, of course Yolanda can't act in the first turn. That's a whole bunch of horse shit. You met Yeah, 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 yeah. You can also divide by party formation. Extreme Void! Extreme Void! <laughs> nice! Power win, they grow tired of you. Finishing strike. Final blast! Alright, so we one cycled the monkey. Now die and be silent. We just need to hope the sorcerers don't fuck us up too bad. Alright, that's fine. That's okay. This is fine. Ha! 
Yeah, buddy. All right, I think we got this. I think we got this. Let's finish him off with style. Sorcerer. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Just get thee hence. The secret of Damascus. I mean, it's it's not great. They just like reforge the blade over and over. Uh, nope. We're gonna keep everything. The crown of Thelma. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that, too. Ah, the emerald necklace. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that as well. Ten thousand Eden XP. God damn. Ah. Magic power. Hell yeah. Attack pal and magic pal? That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and use that before I forget. I'm gonna exit the world map. All right. 13 out of 24 periods. Alright, so we do have the Cave of Oblivion, which can fuck us up. Um... Belenis is taking a bit of a nap. Put in Lelwyn. And let's put the normal scepter back on Jolanda. And we will give... Magic power. Do a bit more damage. Let's see. Let's try the Cave of Oblivion now that we've got a few more levels. You might be able to squeeze. I might. I might need to get some items, and then we can get through it. Because it is, you know, it's XP on the table. All right, we got the spooky ghost. What do we got here at the spooky ghost? To my side, my noble I'm here, y'all. Oh! No uh, mercy. monstrous glow flies. Alright, this is fine. In the name of all the gods! Finishing strike! Slayer storm! Nice, nice, alright. They grow tired of you. Finishing strike! Final blast! Um, I'm not sure Your we'll be able to kill one. It shall be engraved upon I think we, I think it's going to survive. And if it does survive, I think it's going to fuck us up. Surely you realize resistance is worthless. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Um. Okay, then. 
So I don't think we can win any of the fights. We would be good experience. Their electricity. What do we got as far as items? Um. I know we can make holy gems. Nah. Let's try and run through it and grab any items instead. It looks like the fights are going to be a little bit too hard for us. But we can freeze the enemies and run past. enemies to fight, no treasure. Huh? Ooh, that's an enemy. Hey, we got us ourselves some treasure. A broken blade. Interesting. Anytime you have a broken weapon in a JRPG, you know it's gonna be useful. Eventually. Just gotta unbreak it first. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. To my side, my noble Ein Uh oh. We may be in trouble. Uh oh. We might be in trouble. That's why we ran away. Yeah, maybe a god, but like, oh, look at those explosive fireflies. Like. Those are dangerous! Iron ore. Ebony powder. Ruin's fate. Interesting. What is Ruin's fate? That is a very strong weapon. It does have a chance of breaking, though, so I don't want to just use it now. Woo! We barely were able to slip through there. Good stuff, good stuff. Gotta make it to the exit to keep our ill-gotten gains. Yeah, buddy! Alright! So before we send our people up, um, we got Arngren's thing, but I believe there is still something we can get. Not Coriander Village. Where's Crow Montefiore? Gilmore? Camille? There it is. I believe every character, if you revisit their location, there's something related to them you can get. Um, not that house. Lelwyn's house. Maybe? I don't know if it's Lelwyn's house or if maybe we can find the woman that, uh... Hmm... Alright, I was wondering if maybe he needs to be in the party, but he's definitely in the party. There, Mila's house. Alright. Uh, 
Um, all right, maybe I'm misremembering. We have the periods to spare, though, so let's go ahead and check uh, Lennis's place as well. Just in case. There's not going to be another Dragon Slayer, but it could be cool. Ugh, to the auction. That's not right. Uh, which was the way to Belenis' place? Is it over here? Yes. Belenis' house. There is mansion. There we go. A soccer. That oppressed flower. What is that? Mine it. Ooh, really good against poison. And that is going to be useful in a soon to be encountered dungeon. Makes me wonder about Lelwyn's, but I can't think of where else to visit for Lelwyn. Nothing to do but transfer our people. Um, or actually, hold on, we need to get Lulwin up. So, traits. Um, let's see, this is one to one. That's a bad ratio. Can improve this. This. Ah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the only tr chapter we could send low when. All right, so. Um. Go ahead and give him the other bonus stuff because there's no reason not to. They're super cheap. Um, and Jolanda, make sure to take off the fairy earring so she does that. Move that with her. But Belenis is still taking it out. Really okay to send this hero? Alright, let's go ahead and save slot two. And add Belenis back to the party. And wait until the end. And a bonus side, it will heal everyone up. The goddess Freya has summoned you. This chapter has concluded. Begin the sacred phase. It has been a long time, Leneth. Our current situation is as follows. Asgard war status. Our current situation is, if things do not improve, I am afraid we are doomed. We're doomed! We're gonna lose Ragnarok! Do you wish to know the status of our unherited? Now what's really cool is the unherited you send out, you they get little, um, stories. 
Ah. Oh, she's now a 17th level god in the first platoon. Major role in a fresh, ferocious attack. Investigation of base. Wait, how did she lose hero value? Did she fuck up? Here it goes. Everyone, follow me. Hey, Jolanda, don't go so far ahead. You don't know what might happen. Attack! Bullhard the girl? Wait! A foolish and careless advance. That's pretty silly. Do you wish to know the status of our unharry- right. How's Lelwyn doing? You wish to know his status? 18th level god. All right. Oh, I rescued an animal. All right. Man, he's uh, he's on the rise. He's actually doing better than uh, Jolanda. Do you wish to know the status of our unharry? All right. Lenin, about your perform. Send us warriors, brave and true. Okay. These are all the materialized points I can grant you at this. The Lord Good amount of points. is pleased with. He bids me give you these artifacts. All right. Uh, weight reaction and combo counter are what I really wanted. Weight reaction is very, very important. Lenith, I have a request to make of you. We need more warriors. Yeah. Yeah. And all right. It's, so, so it's actually good we sent uh, Lelwyn up the first one because now we have the Lenis. Uh, for this round, and maybe someone Send else. Send us a warrior with good battle skills. We need a warrior skilled in battle. Send us someone with a good knowledge of artifacts. Okay. Very well. Good fortune. I expect mighty deeds. Mighty deeds, Valkyrie. Okay. That is chapter one complete.